What is up everybody, welcome back to another video, and with it actively snowing outside, I can't really get into a real car, so I figured we'd get back into the sim rig, but not just for that reason. You see, a year ago, I released this video with the terrible thumbnail that it has, and that was my first experience in my sim rig. Now, I had played around with it a little bit before that, but that was really my first true test in it, and I took the BMW 1M onto the Nordschleife, and I put down a time of a 915 point zero zero seven and that was going to be my baseline and I had promised that I would come back to this video in one year to see the improvement between then and now so as you guys can see right here in front of me we are back at the Nordschleife we are at the BMW 1M we're actually driving it in blue this time I can't easily show that but you can see right there on the hood we're in blue just to celebrate Max Verstappen's world driver championship this year now nothing about the rig has changed except for the driver and I did debate on whether or not I was going to do this. Um, when I drove the car last time, it was bone stock, which means there was no changes to it. I didn't really know setup. Uh, and I was thinking, would I drive it the same with no setup or whatsoever? But ultimately what I decided was the driver changed. This is true. And that included learning how to set up a car. Now, I don't have a setup for the Nordschleife. I've actually not run this car on this track ever since. But one thing I do know when it comes to setup was the tires on this car were way overinflated at 35 PSI cold. So we've brought them down to 24 PSI cold. Now, last time I gave myself five laps to warm up before I then went around the track. I think I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to run this five laps to warm up. And then after those five laps, I'm going to then go ahead and jump into my one and only lap. If it has a crash, it has a crash. But my one and only lap, and we're going to compare the two times between them and see which one was faster. So unless something exciting happens in my practice laps, we're just going to go ahead and cut right to me setting up for the actual fast lap. Alright guys, as you can see, we've got it set up for the flying lap. Nothing really happened during practice that was all that eventful, except for I crashed a lot. As you guys can see, I haven't put down a legal lap yet. We're going to do this exactly like we did last time. We are just going to take the only lap or first lap that we go ahead and get here. Um, it doesn't matter if that lap is legal. Last time I just didn't have penalties turned on, so it didn't show up as red. This time it will show up as red if it's penalties turned on. So we're just taking what we get. Um, as you can see, tires are cooling off a little bit. I don't want that to happen too much. Um, you can see... I know you can see up there in the corner that it says that there has been seven laps so far. That's because uh, on my fifth practice lap, I accidentally crossed the finish line and forgot that it was a practice lap. I, I, I forgot it was over at that point. Um, so yes, we had to just do a warm-up or a setup lap for this. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Like I said, I've only done this in high downforce cars since then, and uh, this car does not like a lot of the corners the same way. And here we go, we're starting our first flying lap. This first section does see the car not happy in a few spots. It definitely can't plow through the corners like the other cars that I've driven here can. So I do have to baby it a little bit. Probably babying it a little bit too much, but in my year on sim racing, I have actually not driven too many um, low downforce cars. I've been focusing mostly on, well, purpose-built race cars. Yeah, these first few corners right here, didn't like them in practice. And it is hard to concentrate and talk. For me. But if we can get through that section right there pretty well, the rest of this seems to be pretty easy. That was a little bit slower for me than I was doing in some of the practice laps. But like I said, I never had a clean lap in practice. Another thing I've remembered about this track is it's really bumpy. It does not like, it is it's not a smooth track. You've really got to baby it through a lot of these sectors or you are going to be flying off track. Don't get too close to the grass, like that. And then I probably break a little bit bad there, but I was uneasy about. Probably don't need to go down a second there, actually, now I think about it. We kept it on the track. I say 
as I almost go off the track. driving it last time and now remembering what it was like to drive today now doing it again is that it does not like the windiness of this track it does not like making a lot of back and forth corrections because it's got nothing in the rear wheels holding it there so when you do that that's when you start having problems you start shifting it around too much and then it starts to spin on you especially since i've been having trouble probably gotta adjust the tire pressure there but I've been having trouble keeping those uh, rear tires hot. As you can see, they're just staying cold throughout this whole lap. Come down. Okay, way too much breakthrough there. I also am pretty sure the last time I drove this car, I had assists on for it. Um, that was because when I was learning how to drive on the simulator, um, I hadn't yet turned off all assists. But right now, I uh, don't drive with assists, so the big thing is, is I'm lacking... Uh, ABS, and I'm not familiar with this car's braking, which is causing a little bit of tire squeal. Don't touch the curbs. Oh yes, that's another thing. I don't know about the real Norch life, but I can tell you right now, you do not want to touch those curbs. I have sent it into the wall a fair few times. iconic to the Norch life, they're never going to get rid of them, or at least I don't see them doing it for a very long time if they ever do decide to get rid of them, but I am not a fan of the carousels. They're just not very practical, and I know in real life I've never driven it, but I know in real life if you go off the carousel, if you don't follow the carousel properly, you're going to be having a bad day, and it is no different in the simulator. If you do not follow that carousel, it's going to be a bad day for you. Okay, now this section's a little bit windy before we come up onto any more major turns. Probably could take it a little bit faster through here, but with how much these tires like to squeal on me and the back end likes to kick out, I like to take it a little bit easy. But the risk of jinxing it by saying this, uh, we've still yet to have any penalties. Usually by now I would have at least had a slight off track. This next corner that's coming up, I really hate it. It's deceptive. It's a lot slower than it looks. You think, oh, okay, I can make that corner. And then, like, when you get there, it gets narrower. I still fell for it, despite the fact I just talked about it. That is typical fashion for me. Okay, and then after this section, we're coming up on a very fast section to the next carousel. 
and I will also warn that this section it's nice and fast and it's very bumpy so I have to modulate the throttle quite a bit here some adjustments to the suspension would probably help with that but as you can see I am fighting with the car to keep it on track and then I have to come down probably brake a little bit later here next time but I've got to come through this section and I've got to come down again to second that was a little bit early on that one just a little bit paranoid I actually don't need to go to second there I, I forgot when I was first practicing I thought I needed to go to second there and you keep it third gear through the carousel second carousel we're done with carousels and now for the most part all the hard work is done with the exception of the last three turns before the finish line, they scare me. And despite not crashing in practice on them, which once again, I was afraid to say that because I was afraid it was going to jinx me, but I didn't crash on them in practice, but they always throw me off. So the corners I'm talking about are at the end of the straight. They're the ones that we were actually sitting in front of before the setup lap. And those ones, they're very fast, but if you don't break, you're going to crash pretty bad. We're setting a pretty good pace, 8.06 halfway down the straight. Get off here if we were doing it uh, during Torsten Park. Alright. Last corner, this one's fine. It's these two right here. So with this car, I come off here and then just slowly start going on the brakes. Yeah. I told you I jinxed it. I told you I jinxed it by saying it. I hadn't crashed it once. Shouldn't have said a word. Shouldn't have said a word. Shouldn't have said a word. But that's going to give us a much faster time. Unfortunately, not as fast as I would have liked. Crossing the line at an 849. 334. I don't know. I'm disappointed by myself crashing there. It was such a good lap. But I knew that if I said I was going to crash there, or I'd never crash there, that I was going to crash there. And I crashed there. But hey, that's what this experiment was about, was testing my skill as a whole, as a sim racer, since last time. So yeah, a little bit of a crash there is not what I wanted, um, and I'm not necessarily happy about it. But that's exactly what we were testing. We were just going to see how it would turn out, and just taking whatever time we got. So... 849.334 is 25 seconds faster than I ran last time. So regardless of that crash at the end, I do think that cost me 5 to 10 seconds. I don't know how much exactly. Um, but even with that crash at the end, we still ended up being almost 30 seconds faster than the last time I went out on this. So that is an improvement for having not touched this car on this track that entire time. So I will definitely take that as a win. Well, a crash is obviously not how I wanted to end that. We were doing really good up until that point. But I am very happy with the 25 second improvement from last time. I had a major crash this time, and I had a major crash last time. So 25 seconds is definitely a good improvement, especially compared to the 8 to 12 world record real time that that car has, which is what I was comparing it off of, because I said, of course, it doesn't really have a whole heck of a lot to go based off of when it comes to record times. So that was the best that I could go off of. But I took 25 seconds off of that 9.15 from last year. But now, like I said, I haven't actually run this track very much since last year. So it was still a little bit rusty, and I haven't run any cars similar to this really for the most part at all. Um, but especially on this track. I've been out on this track with higher downforce cars, purpose-built race cars that are much better set up for this kind of a track. So it's just something that was a little bit off for me, but it was a good test. It really showed how much I'd improved in that year. I haven't been in the sim as much as I wanted to, but with this winter, I do have some car projects I need to get done, but not nearly as many as last year. So I'll probably spend a lot more time in the sim this year than I did last year, especially since now I have iRacing. So that's going to be something I'm going to be able to enjoy a lot more something I didn't have last year. Anyway, that more or less wraps it up. Like I said, it was a fun experiment. I may revisit it next year. Who knows? We'll see how much time I put in this sim. But I would really love to shave down maybe even another 25, 30 seconds next year. And maybe even finish a clean lap, because that's something I struggle to do with. Uh, like I said, didn't do it last year, didn't do it this year. Um, but yeah, I'll just play around with some of those cars a little bit more. But if I am going to do it next year, I think I'm going to put off driving this car on this track until next year again just so that it's the same comparison but we'll see how it plays out anyway guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one